忍びの時代は終わる Before I start the video, just quickly wanted to say to any new viewers or if you're not already subscribed to my channel, to please go check it out. I do all my own graphic work, edits, and really enjoy doing it. So if you like my content, please go ahead and like my videos, comment your opinion, and subscribe to see more. Thank you and enjoy today's video. Hey, what's up, everybody? Mr. Game Freak here, and welcome back to another Attack on Titans video. I want to keep this video super honest. I don't want to discourage or make anyone feel bad if you already have, but. Basically, today's video will be covering this 5 star guarantee banner we just got and why you shouldn't pull from it. As you all know, Ignit Ace and I did a collaboration video where we basically hit some points on what's wrong with the game, what needs to change, and just the landslide of negatives we're getting when it comes to content, rewards, and banners. So if you haven't checked out that video, I will leave a link to Ignit's channel below. Make sure that you like the video, drop a comment, and subscribe. And check out Ace as well, he's making Black Clover content now, and that game is、uh, pretty awesome actually. Anyways, let's jump into this banner and see what it has to offer. Alright, so here we go the five star unit gotcha banner. Really, I mean, if you take a look at this banner, you, you know, you've got your, your regular five stars that are in every banner, every time, doesn't matter when it is. I mean, how many times have we seen Rico and this Bert on, on five star banners? Like, they're even being featured in their own banners now. Like, it's kind of dumb. And then you get all the way to the bottom. And you get the units that you kind of want, but if you've been playing since October, or even before then, you probably already have some of these units. If you don't, then yeah, maybe the incentive is for you to pull off this banner. But really, it's not because you need to, you need to weigh the odds against you pulling one of these units that you might want against all of these units that, honestly, for anybody here to tell me they need another Drive Levi. Just go re roll the game. Get all your crystals back and try to pull off a different banner. Wait until anniversary or Valentine's Day. Which is hilarious that this five star unit banner literally is extending all the way until、uh, February 19th. This banner is so unnecessarily placed within the game, like right before Valentine's, right before anniversary. And it's a slimy move on their part. Seriously, I think this is pretty slimy. Like, You want new players to pull off this banner? Like, if you're a new player and you don't have anything yet, honestly, even pulling off this banner does not benefit you because anniversary is right around the corner. Imagine you're gonna spend those crystals, and you're new, so you don't know this yet, but you could be saving those crystals and putting them towards something that might be a little bit better as far as guarantee, or even a little bit more of a stacked banner than this one. I mean, they got Red Armin with stun here, and then they're showing Levi with the better stun. Like, that's kind of that's kind of funky. Like, what's going on? And just to put things into perspective, we got this banner like a month or two ago for free on the first pool. That banner was stacked. I'm talking it was stacked. You had one free pull from that guaranteed five star. You had JP swimsuit units. You had Halloween units. You had units that you wanted. Basically, the whole roster was there, and I say whole roster, I mean some of the better ones that people really cared for. And they gave you a free pull, a free rainbow ticket. I pulled once off that banner, and I got the Aaron that I wanted swimsuit Aaron, for the love of Christ. And I never spent a dollar on it. And now they released the banner again with a couple good units, with more garbage units around that. So I know you're gonna be guaranteed a five star. But you're definitely not guaranteed one of those five or four units that are all the way at the bottom that you really want. You'll probably get Burt or Drive Levi. Something so, ooh, like just thinking that you're gonna spend $25 to be guaranteed that alone, that's enough reason for me not to even invest in this banner whatsoever. It's like they took the first banner and they're doing it again. And really, what they should have done was flip them, if anything. This banner should have been the free pull, and the second one should have been the $25 one because that second banner was stacked. We had so much more options. I don't know what is going on with this, like Dana or whoever's in charge of this at this point. Like, it's just a slimy move. I don't think anybody should pull off this, whether you're new or not. If you want to drive Levi and you're new, go for it. That's completely on you. You'll learn how to play the game. You'll learn what units are good. And if you really think that spending money on this banner is worth it for you, I can almost guarantee you, in a non like dickish way, 
that you're gonna wish that you would have saved those crystals for anniversary or at least valentine's day because remember all those seasonal units that we get there's usually three or four that we can get a free fourth unit a free to play unit and then three that are featured within a banner that revolve around that season so what would you rather pull something that you might not get or something off a seasonal banner that might be different or maybe it's stacked against the same odds who knows they increased rates by one percent it still doesn't show a difference at all to me but really at the end of the day anniversary is right around the corner april's coming up real quick and honestly it'd just be a tragedy to me for me to go on reddit or even go on discord and see somebody saying oh i spent like 50 or even 25 dollars and pulled gene like not even the good gene if there was a gene on here i didn't even see armin or bert or even this levi i'm gonna keep saying levi because levi's trash bro drive levi is trash mankind's greatest warrior levi that that guy's pretty good yes you want to pull that it's not guaranteed though but anyways guys enough being so negative i know it's a negative oh like I, I hate making videos like this but it's i just gotta be honest about it um that's about it for the video if you have anything you want to say in the comments please keep it 100 i don't care or i'm not really i don't care i don't mind the honesty i know people have their opinions i'm nobody to stop you from having your opinions so please if you feel differently leave it in the comment section below tell me how you feel about it i will not discourage anybody from pulling from this game i'm just saying with an open heart it sounds like a ripoff it looks like a ripoff the units are a ripoff and we have better things coming in the future and still even then after that we might get ripped off again for another couple months so that's it i'm mr game freak i'm gonna cut this video here if you guys want to keep looking at more videos i have a playlist going on i'm trying to grow the channel little by little gaining a couple more subscribers here and there the traction's finally moving thanks to you guys really it's all about the people who watch my videos and support me so again thank you guys very much and if you do enjoy my content please like comment and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace